Connor, and we are going to be reviewing Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Quick, QuickBooks integrations. Uh, so you're, you're uh, on this webinar with DB Sync, and we're one of Salesforce's first incubated companies, and we're a Microsoft Silver partner as well. Uh, Gartner positioned us as a niche player in the Magic Quadrant for 2016. And one of the uh, one of the big issues that we find a lot when we're working with different company companies is how how can they make sales talk to accounting? How can they get more transparency? How can they go ahead and uh, and, and allow for better communication and streamline processes? And so uh, when people are doing implementations, uh, especially a lot of partners that we have, that's one of their biggest issues is getting CRM to talk to QuickBooks. So on average, end users of our system end up saving about $650 a month, and that's in reduced manual double data entry. Uh, that's in streamlining the process. And we've got hundreds of customers who have been using this uh, this web connector that we've developed. It's, it's very simple. It's a plug-and-play solution. Some of the common integrations that we do, uh, just so you know, also include Dynamics uh, and Sage, Nav and Databases, Salesforce and GP, Nav and Salesforce, CRM and Intac. So there's a lot of different ways that we can go. Today, today we're going to be doing the demo with the QuickBooks and CRM connector. So here's a screenshot of kind of some of the information that, that gets pulled. With our plug and play, uh, we take CRM accounts and we put them as QuickBook, QuickBook, QuickBooks customers. We take CRM products and uh, we put them as QuickBooks items. Those can be service, inventory, non-inventory. We take CRM opportunities and we put those into QuickBooks jobs. We take CRM invoices, and those become QuickBooks invoices. CRM orders, and those become QuickBooks sales orders. And QuickBooks customers become uh, CRM accounts and contacts, uh, items, products, uh, jobs, opportunities, invoice, invoice, sales order, CRM order. And you can also build a lot of custom mappings with this profile. So we fully support the creation of custom mappings per the business process and needs. Uh, this, this profile supports Dynamic CRM Online version uh, 2011 and later, and it also works with the desktop version as well. And we also support all major versions of QuickBooks uh, from 2008 and later, and that includes different country variations, so U.S., U.K., Canada, and Australia. And enterprise is, is really our go-to version when, when we're doing these uh, these integrations, and that runs for 1,500 uh, per, per QuickBooks user, and that covers those fields that I that I just went over. And um, I got a question in here: Does does this profile support bidirectional sync? Uh, yes, yes, it absolutely does. You have the ability to control and configure unidire uh, unidirectional if you'd like that, but we do support bidirectional as well. But some some people like uh, just data to flow from CRM into QuickBooks uh, to separate, you know, between between customer service people and uh, your your accounting department as well. So that's that's always an option if you want unidirectional, and you can control uh, data specific directions as well. So if you want them to be able to edit only certain fields in certain directions, uh, that is totally a, um, an ability that we have. So now let me go ahead and show you an example of how it works. I'm going to go ahead. I've got I've got my QuickBooks open over here. I'm going to go ahead and log into CRM. So like I said, it does work with the online and on-premise versions of these of these softwares. I see someone asking if we do a trial. Uh, yes, we, we do offer trials. We offer uh, free 14-day trials, and uh, we'll help you get up and running with that so that you can test it out, make sure it's doing what you want it to do. So I'll just pick an invoice.
Okay, so as you can see, this is a this is just kind of a template invoice we use for examples. You can note the item, you can note the the amount, you can note the account. So this is this is the field that we're going to be looking at right here. Those generate once uh, once we go ahead and run the sync. But generate object is the field that you're going to be concerned with. You want to go ahead and switch the generate object field to invoice when you want to go ahead and update it. So once you have it switched to invoice, I mean we can see we can see in here there there is no account there is no customer for that uh, for that Amazon account that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the web connector. Perfect. Going and loading right now. Okay, so that's what our web connector looks like. You can see right here, we've got this field, so you can go ahead and check it. So this this is where it shows it's your MSCRM and QuickBooks Sync. Uh, you can also note that we've got an auto run feature. So if you'd like to, you can go ahead and tell it, you know, we want it to run every 10 minutes, we want it to run every hour. So you don't have to do this manually every time. But uh, if you want that control, you can have it as well. So you just do that and you click that update selected field. And then you can see it loading. Oh, and there we go. You can go ahead and see that the customer account was created. And it lets us know how, how far along in the process we are right here as well, too. So like I said, we can do we can do a lot of customization as well. So if beyond those those fields that I've mentioned, you need uh, you have a customer with requirements to do some industry specific fields, or um, they just they just want some different fields, we can always go ahead and make that happen. So you can see that the customer was generated. If we had that information field in, it would pull that as well. We just we just didn't happen to on that one account. And then the invoice itself pulled it as well. You can see the, the item description. You can see the item, the quantity, the rate, the account. So it goes ahead and pulls that in. And then once it's pulled in, if you want to confirm in CRM, we go here. You can see invoice updated. The status has changed. Uh, under under QB error, the field is going to show the invoice updated as well, and QuickBooks ID is going to go ahead and get updated. So that's going to be that information right there. And you can go ahead and check the the product name, the rate, uh, all all of it gets uh, gets transferred in. And then if you have any of those custom fields, uh, that information will of course get transferred in as well and pulled in the same way. Like I said, uh, this, this is a bi-directional sync, but we can go ahead and set it up to be unidirectional and uh, direction specific so we can run from QuickBooks to CRM, vice versa, and specific fields. So if you guys want to go ahead and, uh, and get in touch with me and discuss this uh, any further, I'll go ahead and pull up my information right now. If you guys have any questions at all, you can always send those in. We do have a partner program too. If if you're uh, you're doing implementations yourself, so my email is Connor Evans at mydbsync.com, and you can feel free to go ahead and shoot me an email, and we we can start the conversation and. If you have any questions at all, I can loop in someone a little bit more technical, um, questions about mappings, customization. That's all things that we can facilitate, but we can also train you how to do it. So it's, it's really, um, re really a, a product where you have a lot of options as far as how you want to go about it. And if you are tech savvy, it's, it's 
um, a, a terrific option for for doing these custom implementations that can sometimes be you know a little bit of a of a drag. And um, with our partner program, you guys do get referrals for the customers that you send over. So there, there is there is an incentive, and it does uh, it does uh, graduate with the amount of volume that you guys are sending to us. So that is always something to consider as well. And uh, we we love working with our partners. So if you guys are interested, please feel free. Send me a message. And uh, like I said, we do have many connectors. So it's it's not just limited to this QuickBooks CRM, but we like to show this one because this is one of the ones we get asked for the most. And we do a lot of OEM solutions as well. So if you if you do have systems that are built on on top of different softwares, we, we can always look at those and see what we're able to do for you. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in and, uh, and checking out this demo. I appreciate your time. And again, feel free to reach out with any questions, comments, concerns, and we'll be happy to get back to you. Thanks so much.